yes, I'm looking going. forward to uh, Sunday. Um, so you hinted there that you hoped that this good performance and this good result can now be used to get back to the kind of form and results you want to see in the Premier League beginning, I guess, on Sunday. How can the squad and you guys, you coaches, use this to build on? I think the game by himself changes changes a lot of things. It doesn't uh, it doesn't um, erase all the problems that we have, but it's easier with the confidence that we have, with a good mood to prepare to recover better. So it was important. It was important. But we know that uh, Sunday is going to be a different game uh, and a very good opponent. Yes, you say a very good opponent. Obviously, they'll be boosted. Their confidence will be high after the, the result against Manchester United last weekend. Of course, of course, and, and they have a talented squad, a very good manager, Dean. Um, so it's a tough, tough uh, task that we had ahead of us in, on Sunday. But we will be ready uh, home, at home. Uh, huge factor for us, home factor is, is huge, the support of our fans and uh, the atmosphere. We will compete and play the game. Harry Kane can sometimes has in the past been a slow starter to the season. Maybe that's happened again. Do you think now, tonight, and forwards, he's got a smile on his face again, I noticed, at the end of the game. Is he now going to kick on, become the Harry Kane that we know in the Premier League? We all wish and hope so. And, and this is what we need. All the players in the best of their qualities for the team. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Uh, Sean Walsh. It was revealed the other day that only seven Premier League squads are more than 50% pre-vaccinated. Do you know if Spurs are among those clubs and do you urge your players to get vaccinated if they have not yet? It's a personal decision. It's a personal decision. What regards to vaccination, it's a personal decision that we respect. Of course, we, we are supportive that everybody in the population is vaccinated so we can deal with this pandemic better. Thanks, Sean. I want to ask you about Giovanni Lo Celso. Um, obviously, he's had his kind of issues this season with the, you know, the isolation in Croatia, things like that, and obviously he seems to be slowly coming back into it. I just wondered what you kind of feel his best position is. We saw a couple of different positions tonight for him, and obviously varying impacts in them. I think um, in terms of position uh, of, of Giovanni, uh, I think he's a versatile player, very versatile. You just take a look at his career. Um, not too many years ago, he was was playing as a six defensive defensive midfielder in I think in PSG. Um, then he moved to bed. He didn't play higher on the pitch. Uh, it all has to do with the shape of the team. But uh, I think Gio is a very talented and, and versatile player that can play in, in different positions in the in front. Just one other quick one for me. Injury news. Is, is Ben Davies got an injury? I'm just yeah. He's not here tonight. No, no. He's, he has a... He's, I don't go much further. But he has a problem that uh, he has to do with... Uh, can I speak freely about that? So he has a, a problem on... An inflammation on... On appendices. Uh, he, he's been... He's been... Uh, taken care of. He did some... Some scans. Some... And... But he was not able to do that today. He was not able. He was in in pain. So we wish him that he recovers soon and can join us. Thank you, Lena. Thank you. Okay. It's been a tough few days, obviously. And there's been quite a lot of criticism after after the Arsenal game and a lot of focus on you. And maybe during your time at Wolves and in previous jobs, you, you never really had criticism like that because things were generally going quite well. Has has this been one of the toughest weeks of your career in management? Uh, look, football is what it is. Uh, football is what it is. Criticism is something that we as professionals have to be ready for it. And I understand the criticism, but I don't, I don't, it's not my focus. My focus is on preparing the team, finding solutions to help the players. Um, this is what I'm my focus. And during my career, I had a lot of criticism. I had a lot of um, good words, of uh, I don't know how to say praise, praise, and nothing has changed, and I keep being the same person. Sure. Asked him again how 
certain players did not execute your game plan in the way that you wanted, are you 100% confident that that will not happen again against Aston Villa? I have to make sure that that doesn't happen again. This is my my job. I have to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So let's prepare it well, and we will prepare it together, together, and we will stick together. Thanks for your time, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much.